M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. So you, you're thinking about getting yourself a DV Stick 30, and these are quite inexpensive, you know, under 100 pound, and you get to DMR D Star Fusing using your PC. And in the UK, you get them places like Martin Lynch. So let's say you've bought one. The first thing you want, you're going to want to do is get the correct driver. So I put the link in here, and it looks like if you just got the standard one, the the FTDI driver you need usb drivers this one here at the bottom i'll put the linking ftd1230 so run run that first then get your usb stick and you can see mine in the background and plug it into your pc next thing is right click here and select device manager and you'll end up with this window here okay so in here you're looking for the USB serial port. Well, there it is there, USB serial port, and it's number 18. If you want to just double check, right click it and click properties. And whilst you're there, now it will say FTDI, that's the right one. Go to port settings and change this is what I had to do. Change your bits per second to 46080. It's just a drop down. 460800. Okay, so once you've done that, you'll pretty much ready to start setting it up. Now, let's have a quick look at these links I've got. Now, you will need to go to PA7 LIM site to get the software. So go to this page, and then when you download, click on, I'm using Windows, so just click on the Windows logo, and it will take you to these different files that you can download. And just, I ran the, the, the beta version, but you could run the normal version. And when, once you run that, you will end up with a window that looks like this. Just show, looking at these other links I've got here. So yeah, just other links. So the first thing you want to do is go into settings. So with all these tabs off, nothing's properly connected yet. Go to menu and go to setup. Okay, and you'll end up with this window now. Get your core sign in. Get your COM port in here same as the, that was in the device manager i've put a frequency in but that's because i have another dv mega device so don't worry about frequency location always on top yeah i tick that english now i've put in some of my favorites now so let's do d star first i've put in module c uh, i haven't ticked enable at start because it will just connect without turning it on i want to be able to choose that um i've took left aprs for now and i've put in reflector 30 cheeks 30 Charlie because I use that a lot then you want to get in your um, DMR ID number so I've put it here on both look DMR ID hotspot and ID. I've done it both basically two three one four one four three seven I haven't enabled it to start I'm using Brandmeister there you are Brandmeister BM and I'm using two three four one GB okay that's the UK one and then Create yourself a password that you're going to use in in uh, in Brandmeister self care. I'll just quickly show you that because that's for DMR Meister self care. Okay, put that into Google. Just move this out of the way a minute. Just close that. It's quite important because it won't work on DMR without you having your password. So once you've created your account, log in. Sorry, log in here like so and then just m0fxb go to self-care and make sure that you have got a password in here at the bottom type the password click save that password has to match what you're going to put in settings okay so back to settings setup otherwise it won't work and you've got dmr plus which i'm not really using at the moment anyway so and you could have if you're using tgif again password so location, I put in IOAT1, that's mine. And then this is the fusion section. I've just for now, I put in YSF and I've selected uh, CQ UK. And I actually use normally, I think I use 390 on FCS. Or was it 290? Oh, well, one or the other. So anyway, it's up to you. So once you've got that in there, then the next important one is see here where it says Ambi 3000. Tick the box at the top. And be 3000 there same serial port dmr number and again remember that board rate has to be the same uh, don't worry about the rest we're not using a server and no, i don't even know how to to be honest 
So have a look, pause it, copy those settings, but put in your call sign, of course, and your device manager, then click save. All right, so now it's up to us to choose things. Now, what you can do is update everything first. So click update and update all of these one at a time. It does all this, just click OK on everything. Um, and there's about, I don't know, four core base. Just do them all, go down the list, DMR. Go down the list, just click them OK, uh, all the way to the bottom, there you go. Yeah, I'm so good that it does all these modes. Right, we've done the update, now we're going to select what we're going to be listening and talking on. So I've got my microphone H2N Zoom selected here, so that's fine. You, you know, you get a drop down, you can choose something else that's connected to your PC. Then it, I'm using headphones. I could be using the speakers on my computer. I can even listen actually on the microphone here if I want. So, okay, that's all good. So now let's have a go at connecting. Now, um, we've got different options here. So let's leave it on Ambi for now, Ambi there. We'll start off connecting to DMR. So let's just turn on serial and then turn on DMR. And what you're looking for you're looking for up here, you want it to say firmware, so someone's active there already. You look. You want it to say firmware, Ambi 3000, it's saying 91, because look, I've selected 91 here, yeah, and it's connected. Now I could, when someone's not talking, I could select 4000, and then you can use the space bar, or just click here where it says on air, and it, you can disconnect yourself, but when someone's not talking, that's what you've got to wait for. So at the moment, we're still, someone's been you know someone's chatting basically and if you want to change your mic gain here it is a speaker and mic gain here and you've got it for d star dmr and uh you know all modes there fusion as well and you've even got vox so we can't do much now right let's try and disconnect hopefully that disconnected me yeah, it did disconnect. A bit quiet. The speaker I've got here is not very loud. So let's um, let's now connect back to 91, and we'll, let's see if we can you can hear it, what it does. So we we'll go to 91 here. Remember, it's a G here. Look, you've got two choices, P or G. It says G here. Uh, we've done our thing. I can't turn the speaker up. See if I can uh, hear it a bit better. And let's connect. We'll just quickly key when no one's speaking. It's not coming back with connect, but normally we've got 91 here. We can, you know, we can change numbers. We can add numbers. Let's try it again. It says DMR, logged into DMR here on the bottom left. Quick key. Yeah. All right, we, got, we did have someone come through, and so maybe it's already connected us. I definitely heard someone come through then. Right, let's turn it off. And let's, let's try D star. So D star, and then we'll click link here. Link to R E F zero three zero C. Yeah, we're linked in. You can see the speaker I've got connected isn't very good, but anyway, we're linked in. And if we want to talk, we will just double click here like so, uh, or one single click or space bar here. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, calling for an audio check, M0 FXB. And hopefully if, it was, if there was activity, someone will come back on 30 Charlie. And then let's flick that off because we are testing all modes. Fusion. We're now on Fusion, and we're going to link to CQ UK. We're going to click Link up here. See the way it says CQ UK. Now we have got a drop down, lots to choose from. We're just going to link to CQ UK. It does say linked here at the bottom. You can see MI6 OIG is there, and uh, I just need to connect some decent speakers, which I will do. So what I'll do, I'll give a quick audio shout. 
M0 FXB, Mike 0 Fox X Ray Bravo, audio check. No luck with any comebacks, but that's not... Ah, uh, hang on. Yeah, I need to get my my decent speaker connected. But anyway, we'll do some more tests actually using it. This is just more of us showing you how to set it up so we can click off there. Like so. So you can see how it's going to get you connected to all modes. I'll put all the links in the description. Pretty sure I've answered all the questions. You've got last heard history here. You can look up things. APRS chat will do that separately. And you could just, if I turn off, to enable it start so that things just log in. When you click setup, look, for example, let's say we want it to log in straight away on D star. Click that little box there and you've got a here and here for fusion DMR. But we'll just do D star. So when you turn the serial on, it look, it's straight away gone into... Uh, reflector 30 Charlie it's connected E F zero three zero C so that's it very inexpensive way of getting on all the bands and if you use a decent microphone and a good speaker um, I think you'll have loads of fun with this any PC or laptop so 7-3 thanks for watching my channel catch you on air all the best